Hey guys, so today I am going to be canning up some of these hot peppers here and these hot peppers here in a hot sauce that I can um, put on the pantry shelf so that I won't use it, but my husband can use it throughout the winter and we can use up some of these hot peppers. Um, I've made this before, but I haven't canned it, so I found a canning recipe and um, you, you don't have to can this. You can make this and put it in the fridge or um, give it away as some gifts to your neighbors or family. Um, it will last forever in the refrigerator. So I don't even know actually what, I thought I planted cayenne peppers and maybe these are, but I don't know what these are. Um, does anybody know what these are? They, are hot <laughs> um, some of them are turning red or they yeah some of them are turning red um, it's interesting because I grew all my plants from seeds this year so I don't know but first things first is we're going to pick three pounds of hot peppers so I got my basket should have brought my shears and I'm going to pick a ton of these. All right, I picked three, no, two and a half pounds of those hot peppers. Sent my husband back out to pick another half a pound. This is what that looks like. So I'm gonna get started um, cutting the tops off and then cutting them in half and de-seeding them and getting the ribs out of most of them. Actually, I'm going to wash them first and we will get this process moving. All right, so I also have my latex gloves because you know, hot pepper juice is dangerous. So I've got my bowl of rinsed and soaking hot peppers here and I have a garbage bowl and a good bowl. So just cut the tops, cut them in half. Then we clean them up a little bit. And you can leave as many or as few seeds and ribs as you want, depending on your preference. All right, so now we have all of the hot peppers de-seeded and de-veined and chopped. Luckily, my husband helped me. It was terrible. Um, it'll be worth it though. My hands are burning. Even with the gloves, I've popped a hole, but whatever. So this um, three pounds of hot peppers goes into a large pot. Make sure your area is well ventilated too, by the way. We're gonna add two and a half cups of water. Add three cups of apple cider vinegar and it needs to be five percent acidity okay then we need four cups of sliced onion a third a cup of chopped garlic. And then we need one third of a cup of chopped cilantro.
cans of diced tomatoes. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to stir this all together, let it come up to a boil, and then we're going to simmer it for one hour. Then after it's simmered for an hour, we're going to turn the heat off and let it cool off for an hour. So then um, I'll be back to continue the process in two hours. Okay, I'm back. So the hot peppers and onions and vinegar and garlic and all of that have been um, boiling for an hour and then I turn the power, turn the heat down and or off actually and let it cool for an hour and now what you're supposed to do is start adding it to a blender and basically liquefy it um i have every kitchen gadget you can think of but i don't have a blender i don't i don't have a blender i have a food processor and i also have a neutral bullet um can you see there we go so I'm just going to put a bunch in. Where's the max fill line? Oh, plenty of room. Put the top on. And blend it up and it is in the pot again and now I'm gonna heat it back up to ow heat it back up to a boil and then we're gonna pack our jars so we'll be back in a few All right, I'm back. So we are going to fill our jars. Um, I've got the sauce up to a, ow. <laughs> got the sauce up to a boil again. I have the jars in boiling water. So let's fill them up and this should make about five pints. We're also going to leave a half of an inch of head space. Right about there. Now, you want to make sure and label this appropriately because it looks like tomato soup and you do not want ow, somebody taking a big drink of hot sauce. All right, so wipe the rim because I made a mess. Ow. Fingertip tight. 
and back in the canner it goes. We'll do one more. Oops, and a little bit more up to a half inch head space. Then we will just make sure there aren't any air bubbles. All right, then wipe the rim. Okay, and add our lid and ring. is so hot. Fingertip tight and back in the canner. All right, I'm going to get the rest of these jars filled and then I'm going to process these in a water bath for 10 minutes. And then I'll bring you back when it all is said and done and let you know how many pints. So the hot sauce has been processing for 10 minutes and then um, I turn the stove or the burner off and let it rest for another 10 minutes. Now we're going to take our jars out and see how they look. This made six and a half pints. Ouch. So I have five pint jars and three half pint jars. So I think it turned out pretty well. Um, my fingers still burn, so that is definitely going to be something I consider next year when thinking about making this is the burning skin afterwards. So I left a, or I will leave a, a website link to this recipe if you'd like to try this yourself. Again, you don't have to can it. You can just make it. You can make a half batch. Use up some of those garden hot peppers for sure. So thank you for watching. And if you like these types of videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.